Welcome to Radically Loved Radio. I am your host, Rosie Acosta, yoga teacher and teacher trainer, mindfulness coach, speaker, and creative writer. I am also the founder of radicallyloved.com, a website where you can go for more information about yoga, mindfulness, meditation, and lifestyle advice. On this podcast, we talk to people within our health and wellness community that are creating content through the ritualistic practice of yoga, meditation, or overall mindful living. We hope to create value in your life so that you can achieve your highest potential and live a radically loved life. To stay in touch with us, just follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Rosie Acosta and on Facebook at Radically Loved Rosie. You can sign up for our newsletter on radicallyloved.com to stay up to date on future workshops, retreats, and latest podcasts. Hey everyone, welcome to the final part of our Radically Loved questions. And I'm answering probably my favorite things to ask people. And if you missed the first two, go back and listen to Radically Loved Rosie Answering Questions Part 1 and 2 so you can hear why and what questions I ask our guests on the podcast. Uh, Just a little refresher, there was a request from a very dear longtime listener that asked that I answer the questions that I ask my guests because she's been listening for a long time and was curious as to what my answers were. So the last final ones, which are my favorite to ask. I don't know if they're going to be my favorite to answer, but what advice would you give your 15 year old self? Mm. So, (laughs) wow, that 15 year old self was a little hoodlum. (laughs) She was, she was a criminal and she was just an bad little girl. (laughs) She, she didn't give a fuck (laughs) anything or anyone. She was selfish and didn't care about anybody or anything, uh, but herself or so it seemed she, uh, she didn't have any expectation for herself and didn't really think that she would grow up to amount to much. And even though there was an undercurrent of wanting to prove people wrong, there was still an overwhelming sense of like, I don't give a shit, right? So look, hindsight's always twenty twenty. I guess if I could go back in time and have a conversation with her, um, I might approach her in a different, more direct way. And I would just say, hey girl, the world's not that bad. And the world's not a terrible place. And there are good people in the world. And all you need to do is to know that you have an unlimited amount of potential and you can trust that. So that's what I would say. I would, I would say something more along the lines of really just trusting what that deep, deep, deep inner knowing is, because there was always that inner knowing. We all have that, right? We all have that at our core. I'm curious as to you listening to this podcast, what you would tell your 15 year old self or your teenage self. Think about it. What advice would you give him or her? Just curious. I know that's me still asking questions, whatever I'm supposed to answer. I get it. Okay. The next question is, what would your 95-year-old self tell you now? I'm going to mirror what 99.99% of my guests say about this, is that uh, chill the fuck out. (laughs) It's like, chill out. Everything is happening in divine timing and just enjoy it. Just enjoy the process. That's what my 95-year-old sassy little rocking chair sitting old lady would say (laughs) she's going to be badass. Um, And the final questions, of course, are how do I feel radically loved and what do I radically love? Well, how do I feel radically loved? Uh, Man, that 
that is, mm, I, I feel the most radically loved by being able to share on my voice and being able to share everything that I've learned from all the teachers I've had through my entire life on a platform that is able to maybe help somebody else. So being able to share my voice is how I feel radically loved. I mean, the fact that I am able to share my voice and it's not against the law, that it's not forbidden, that I'm able to express my truth and my authenticity. I think that is how I feel radically loved. And what do I radically love? Uh, Life. I think I radically love life. I love being able to have an experience, to take a deep breath, to see beautiful things and beautiful places and have the opportunity to start over every day and make different choices and make mistakes and fail and fall and and just to have the whole experience. So that's it. Those are my questions. Thank you so much for letting me share. And if you feel inclined, I would love to hear what your answers are after listening to the three parts of the Radically Loved Rosie Answering Questions series. If you haven't, join us on Facebook. We started a private Facebook group that uh, it's on the links in the show notes and you can just click it and request and I approve everyone. So come and join the party and I'm looking forward to connecting with you further again. Thank you so much for being a listener and for just being a part of this radically loved tribe. Powerful You is coming to Los Angeles. Finally, I'm so excited. This three-day transformative event brings world-renowned influencers, visionaries, and entrepreneurs directly to the LA area. So get ready, LA. And if you're not in LA, you must come. We've got some incredible people speaking, many who have been guests on this podcast. We've got Lisa Bilyeu, Lori Harder, Glennon Doyle, and... I get to be speaking at this event, which is still hard for me to believe. I'm so excited. It's May 17th through the 19th. Get your tickets at powerful-u.com or you can go to the show notes of this podcast and go directly to the link to get your tickets now. This event will sell out and I really hope that you treat yourself and get an opportunity to come to this amazing event. So I'll see you soon. Hey listeners, we need your support. Help us by subscribing and rating to this podcast. Send us a snapshot of your review or comment and we will send you a very special Radically Loved gift. Send your comment to info at radicallyloved.com. You can also click on the show notes here on this podcast for more information. If you want to be part of our community, please click the link to our private Facebook group on the show notes of this particular podcast so you can be the first to hear of upcoming trainings, retreats, and special Radically Loved events. Thanks so much for listening.